Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Suicidal Spillway. I should hit ready up before I finish talking, but that's okay. Uh, recording has started for the Minecraft series. I have begun recording the Minecraft series. It's I've, uh, I haven't recorded episode one yet, but I've got probably... Uh, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of footage for episode one. Um, probably another, eh, like, well, realistically, I could probably finish episode one in, like, seven or eight more hours of, uh, of playtime, of work, really, but, uh, that's gonna be done over the weekend, and I don't work on the weekend, so I'll have to make sure that I'm doing, uh, some mindless grinds over the, uh, over the weekend, and then, uh, it'll probably end up being, like, yeah, 20 to 30 hours of, uh, of work put into episode 1, which kind of is a little bit, uh, yeah, you know, but, oh well. Um, I just, I don't want to have too much progress happening, so it's probably just going to be a whole lot of mining, really. But I actually, I find mining in Minecraft, you know, branch mining, just digging a big old tunnel, I find that personally to be fairly relaxing. I find it, uh... Cathartic? Not cathartic, but like therapeutic almost, you know? It's it's a common thing where, where a lot of people actually find mining in Minecraft to be fairly therapeutic. You just get to sit down, put on some music or something, and mine away. But uh, episode one has begun, the recording for it has begun. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. Uh, you'll have to watch the series if you want to know what happened, but we got a... Uh, a pretty gosh darned strong start in the world. It was a very, very highly lucky seed um, that we ended up starting on. So, uh, pretty, pretty pleased with myself for that one. Very, very lucky indeed. Um, but you have to watch and see what happens. I'm not, I'm not spoiling nothing. I'm excited to get into it. I'm having a lot of fun playing Minecraft again. So much has changed from uh, from when I last played. Because I played uh, I played in 114. I started a series then. I didn't get too far though. I only got about six episodes in. Um, you guys didn't. You guys can't see that. It's not on the channel. Um, but I made it um, a while back, like a year ago or so. Um, we can do this. So, I uh, didn't. I didn't get too far in 114. Before that, the last time I played was 112, and uh, it's kind of like where are we? Where are you taking me, dude? Oh, it's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's kind of like I'm coming from 112 all the way up to 116 without having seen what's new, because. Even though I played in 114, I didn't get to, to play around with, like, turtles. I didn't play around with uh, most of the aquatic stuff. I didn't play around with, with kelp too much. I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't do anything with bees or, or, like, anything, you know? Like, yeah, the last time I played was 114, but even most of the stuff in 113 and 114 is, is still pretty new to me. So it's uh, it's been a lot of fun getting back into Minecraft and, and kind of seeing... Um, how things are going. I initially started out planning to make a, uh, a fish farm. You guys might see that in the episode if you watch it. I don't know if you're gonna or not, but uh, I started out by uh, wanting to make a fish farm, and then like I looked up 116 fish farms, and they took a heavy nerf. So uh, that's definitely not a like a plan. And I'm like, I don't know. Like step one for me in a in a new world was always make a fish farm, get enchantments get tools, go mining, you know? And uh, that's completely not an option anymore. So it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, it, it's fun to, to have to like redo my, my early game strategy in Minecraft because it's it's been a very long time since I've done anything other than just like make a fish farm, get all the early enchantments and items and food and stuff, and then uh, go mining and get resources been a very long time so it's uh it's fun to have to kind of like redesign that early game 
strategy. Something fun's coming. But it's uh, it's definitely time consuming. Anyway, the recording has started. I'm having fun with it. I'm excited to to go and I probably won't get much more recording done today. I want to get a little bit done because I want to get a uh, a bit of an XP farm thing going on so that I can get some decent tools and then uh, maybe uh, be able to go and do like some proper mining with like mending and stuff so I don't have to keep on making new tools and do all kinds of garbage over the weekend and, and kind of uh, put together a nice little mine for the uh, for the world over the weekend which would be like a good sort of off-camera project but I don't know that's kind of the the thing with Minecraft when I'm recording it right like do I even want to give myself Saturday and Sunday off for Minecraft recording I don't know because like you know you, you can look at it like I, I, I don't want to have to work on the weekends which is true I, I don't want to work on the weekends um, we got a lot of money, this holy cow. Um, but the alternative to that is I also want to like get progress done in Minecraft. But that requires, you know, working. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know, do I still need to have my, my time off? Maybe maybe Minecraft gets uh, gets to be the exception and I, I work on the weekends for, for Minecraft. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Don't know. I'll have to decide. It'll be like this weekend, and I'll be playing, and I'll be like, I really need to record something so I can get some more progress done. Um, probably is what I imagine will happen, and that'll be that'll be good, right? It'll it's good to have that passion, that interest, that excitement, that uh, motivation. Um, but definitely, I'm not going to be recording like KF2 or or uh, when we eventually bring back the Gunfire Reborn or. Um, definitely won't be streams of Minecraft on, uh, because the thing is, is I can record for, like, two minutes. Record, like, a clip, like, hey, we got this done, we're gonna go do this now, and then I can get some progress done or whatever, right? Like a two-minute clip, like, well, like, okay, well, we'll I'll, I'll put, I'll put, I'll, I'll build up a, a proper example here for you, right? So let's say, um, before this day is over, Friday, let's say that, uh, I don't have a villager with mending on it right um, which means if I get a villager with mending I don't want to put mending on all of my tools and then you know come back and be like so I uh, got a villager with mending put mending on all of my tools did a whole bunch of mining we have all this resource so that's just like that's a big skip you know what I mean um, so I'd be able to after I get the villager with mending just record like a 30 second clip like aha we did it you know and then uh, you have it and you can use the the mending books to, to go do some resources and they come back and you can be like hey over the weekend I got like a whole bunch of mining done and got all this stuff done you know and that's that's like kind of like a, a continuous fluid experience for the viewer it's not it's not too big of a jump um, so it, it makes it a little bit easier to follow along um, and then only takes like 30 seconds to record you know what I mean like I, I literally just do the do the take Hit Alt F10 and it's done. Like literally 30 seconds of of, uh, of recording. Um, not even recording. It's just like 30 seconds of, of like work. That gives me a lot more enjoyment for for what I can continue to do, which is 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 possibly like uh, something that I'd like to do. I really like the Glock with the um like since I learned that I can make it single fire. That's so nice. Or, uh... Is that single fire? What's what's the term for that? Like, this is full auto. And this is, uh... I don't know what the term for it is. Because full auto, and then I called... Like, I called it single fire, but I don't know. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know gun stuff. I know a little bit of gun stuff. When, when uh, KF2 tells me it, I can learn it that way, but... You people disgust me. Besides that... You know. I will exterminate you. I got some ammo here. There's something here. Um, so anyway, it's uh, I can't kill, but I can't it's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm excited about it. Be playing a lot of Minecraft. I want to get some Monster Hunter done as well. I didn't do a Monster Hunter stream today. I just didn't feel like it, honestly. Um, 
so I didn't. Uh, I can take that kind of leeway because right now I'm, I'm making some drastic changes anyway and I kind of have to start from zero again anyway, so... Um, I didn't want to record Monster Hunter, or didn't want to stream Monster Hunter. I didn't, you know? It's okay. It's okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't do it today. Uh, so, yeah, is what it is, you know. If you were looking forward to it, I'm sorry. I just wasn't, wasn't into it. Oops, that's not the right button. That's, like, definitely not the right button. Am I still okay? Yes, I am. That's also not the right button. <sighs> Hitting, like, all kinds of wrong buttons. Flipping around everywhere, dude. Okay. I made, uh... You guys ever made ice cubes in, like, an ice tray before? Because I have, as of last night. Before that, I'd, uh, whenever I wanted ice cubes, I'd always get them from our fridge. Because my fridge, for as long as I have personally used ice myself, personally, um, have always had a, uh... An ice cube, like machine, in 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 our fridge. You know, when I was a, when I was a young kid, we would uh, we would have ice cube trays and stuff. But I wasn't the one who was doing that because I was a little bit too young at that point to be trusted with the responsibility as big as holding something. Um, so I didn't really get to to do that. When I went over to my grandparents, we'd occasionally make like um, you know you stick orange juice into an ice cube tray and then. Uh, Put some popsicle sticks in it, and then just stick it in the fridge, and you have like orange juice popsicles, you know. Um, but those aren't really ice cubes, you know. So last night I realized I was waiting for the water in my my tap, my bathroom sink, to get cold. Uh, my bathroom sink is where I fill up my good old water bottle, and uh, I was waiting for the the water to get cold, and I was like, man. Wish I had an ice machine. And then I remembered, I have a freezer. And my freezer came with an ice cube tray. So, I went ahead and I grabbed my ice cube tray. I took it over to my, uh, where are we going? Over here. I took it over to my, uh, my bathroom. Filled it up at the bathroom sink. Walked it on back over to my freezer. Stuck it in my freezer when I woke up this morning. Bing! Bang! Boom! Ice! <laughs> and it was, uh, not really worth it. So, the ice cube tray that I have is pretty small. It fits maybe 10 fairly small ice cubes in it. Like, it's a small freezer in the fridge, right? Um, so, the ice cube tray is, is similarly quite small. I don't know. There's, there's probably things here. He dodged it all? What a legend. Um, so, the you know, the, the, the ice cube tray is small. The ice cubes themselves are small. Um, and there's, there's, there's not much ice to be spoken of with that, right? And I drink a lot of, uh, of water every day. Like, it's it's not uncommon for me to drink... Well, I've got a 32-ounce water bottle here. Like, I can go through somewhere in the neighborhood to, like, four to maybe seven or eight of them a day, depending on the day and how into drinking the water I am. Uh, you know, I talk a lot, <laughs> right? Like, a lot. Um... So I drink a lot of water just to keep that throat nice and moistened. Um, and uh, it's just kind of not enough ice. Like it took it takes probably five to eight hours for that ice cube tray to freeze. I get ten ice cubes out of it. If I put five of those ice cubes in. I could probably... Well, I put five in earlier, and it kept my ice actually pretty cool. Because we're in the winter right now. Um, so even just leaving it in my room keeps it pretty cool. Like, it is currently... Um, currently, as of the current time and current date, it is 7 degrees Celsius outside. That's reasonably cool. My bedroom's not much higher than ambient. Um... There's not an awful lot of insulation in the walls. It's it used to be a garage. There is some. I I, I tell you, it it's not an awful lot. Um, it's fairly close to ambient temperature in here usually. 
uh, when my computer's running, you know, that, that acts as a space heater, sort of, and, and keeps the room kind of warm-ish. Um, but even then, like, I can be doing whatever I want in the winter, and I can still leave, like, a bottle of water in here, and it'll freeze. Um, so it, it's not enough. <laughs> it's definitely not enough. It is, it literally gets to, to freezing temperatures inside my room, um, in the wintertime. So I, I end up wearing a lot of clothes, and, like, I put my robe on most of the time and have blankets on and stuff. Um, I don't really want to turn my heater on because I already have the computer running at like, you know, maximum heat output all year round. Um, and then, uh, well, I got a new computer this year actually, so it might, might be better for keeping my room warm, but I don't know. We'll see. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Um. So I don't know. We'll we'll see, but it it does get quite cold in here. So um, really, the only like thing I need the ice for is the initial cooling down of the uh, of the water. Because uh, oftentimes, what I'll do in the winter is I will fill up my water bottle and just leave it in my room for a bit to cool down. <laughs> like I'll get cold water out of my tap and then leave it in my bedroom to get even colder, so that I can have some some nice chilled water. You know. Um, 80 bullets is probably actually almost enough for... Oh, we have, like, even more. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be enough for us to, to get through the vast majority of, uh, of guys here. Goodness gracious. Um, and the ice cubes are nice for that initial cooling down phase where... I take the water out of the tap and I just want to get it to, to room temperature, which is colder than tap water. Um, like, demonstrably colder than tap water, okay? You take tap water, you put it in my room, it gets colder, okay? <laughs> like, actually. Um, so it's it's nice to have uh, have uh, have that ice for that, but at the same time, you know, you look at the, the logistics of it, okay? Half of the thing... Okay, is uh, is enough for for one water bottle filling, right? And if I drink say five bottles a day, that would mean that I would need five halves of the thing, which means I have to fill it twice a day, or or, or two and a half, like three times a day, but like kind of like on the off days I don't have to fill it, and, but you know like two times a day basically, right? Um. Which is fine, I guess, because I can fill it before I go to bed, and then fill it when I, uh, like, use it in the morning to fill up my water bottle, and then, uh, like, that's one half and two halves, and then, uh, like, every time I fill up my water bottle, just fill it up again, I guess. Like the other half of it, maybe, but I just I, I feel like it's not gonna work out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it for a little while here, but I feel like the the logistics of it just doesn't doesn't really work. And people people will rarely believe me when uh, when I say that my room is is fairly close to ambient temperature, like the ambient temperature outside. The temperature inside my room is literally ambient because that's what ambient is. The ambient temperature in my room is the ambient temperature of my room, but the temperature inside my room is fairly close to the temperature outside of my room. And uh, people rarely believe me when I say that. And then <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll like grab something from my room, like a phone that I've left in there for a day or something like that, or, or my water bottle, or a jar, like I have a money jar and stuff, or I'll grab a uh, you know, laptop, some some kind of metal thing that that holds some some uh, some coldness fairly well, and I'll uh, I'll take it outside and I'll be like, here, just just feel it, okay, and then go outside and feel something. They they they're gonna feel pretty pretty gosh darned similar. <laughs> um, yeah, I I, mean, I I just I don't turn on my uh, my heater right. I'm not, I'm not complaining that my room's cold. It's just that's that's the reality of the situation here is that it is, and uh, you know that's the way I like it. I like putting on more clothes. I don't like so much having to take clothes off. I mean, I do, 
Um, but there's a there's a limit to how much clothes you can take off. You know what I mean? At a certain point, they're just you're you're naked. You can't take more clothes off. You know. Whereas when it's when you're cold, you can put on another blanket. Are you still cold? Throw another blanket on. Good to go. But anyway, I made ice cubes. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to see more in the future. How does it go? Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. God.